keep reading the bible and so let me start that's the only thing that we have not talked here you see <laughs> so this <laughs> no the whole thing is that you see everybody says social entrepreneurship is great we come to big conferences we have good food we see all these things but when we go back to our lives this is a awfully uh, lonely journey and you know it's it's kind of a like an experience in the desert and and i i'm sure most of the entrepreneurs would agree with me that the day that we came for to dasra it has it is not out of that i'm going to change the world kind of a feeling that many of us came that it is a kind of a thing that this has been a long and a terrible walk and we are alone on this walk and this experience of the de- desert is actually very killing you know i don't mean the desert artisans on the or you know the groups but but you see this walk through the desert is very difficult and and when we first came to dasra it if you um, um, uh, devil mentioned about dr srini but i am we have talked through with all our peers that we have found that you see except when everybody comes together and claps and gives an award makes us write awful business plans for months together many of them are frustrated finalists after finalists and semi finalists no money nothing that you don't not know <laughs> uh so the the world revels in conferences hailing us up and then leaves us down <laughs> so <laughs> i would like to say to you after seeing sangalp i want to say dsi rocks <laughs> we are the best entrepreneurs funders funders you see so <laughs> so okay now in deserts i just mentioned to a friend that social entrepreneurs are not given rubies and diamonds to live on but you just get manna from the desert that just makes you half survive you know if you want 100000 forget 100 if you want 1000 they give you a 300 so it's always like that so the journey to through dasra has been actually like an oasis for us and it has changed our perceptions it has been transformatory in our lives and i w- i want to tell you they have given us a very terrible time and but it has transformed as the last presentations uh, my personal experience with my mock presentation is was that they ripped me apart my jury and i knew none of them otherwise i would have said you have an agenda against me <laughs> but they were all <laughs> but they were all foreigners so i couldn't say anything <laughs> but but you see but what happens is that every one of us who have passed through this journey also reflects a lot and i think it has been a strength for us to reflect we had fantastic mentors i had a fantastic mentor suresh mundra who came for my presentation both the presentations i am some of us mentors worked some of mentors didn't work but this dasra team has worked behind the scenes never Im- always imposing <laughs> but helping us to just expand our horizons and broaden our thoughts so it has been like an oasis where we have all come and met together we have formed relationship for lives we joke uh, if you want to meet the next fortune 30 or something like that uh, you have to just gel and bond but finally what i would like to leave with is that you see our lives have been not just changed we have built relationships we have forged partnerships and we have all empowered to find that see we have been ma- able to make a long term plan what we came as raw hands and today what we leave we are very different people and it has been made by the hard work by a huge team i went to zambia i worked with the craft groups there and uh, not and the craft groups i you know they have kind of issues and problems and i figure out my god what is this so this guys are asking me solutions because i am a consultant there <laughs> so i called the executive director of the crafts association i am working with and i said why don't you just go for dasra social impact <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you if he had money he would enroll Neera I have told you and I have told all my friends and groups and f- people go enroll for Dasra and I want funders to support Dasra and us also uh, so I hope we all you all do find impact in us and that we have come here and we have said things and we hope we have the courage we have the resources within us to fulfill the journey and some of it might might drop us drop off some of some of us might not be able to hold on but still you can take it sure from us we are all attempting and we will all continue to the levels that we can survive in this field we will all and that is a determination that we all have am i right or wrong yes. thank you dasra i w- 
I would like to invite all. I have a problem. I am always late. So Dasra was called to organize the thing, and I was late for my presentation. So Rama comes and says, "Neju, you are disqualified." <laughs> Where is she? I love you, Rama. Come. <laughs> Come, come, come. Lisa, Charlie. Nira, come on, Nira, don't be shy. And they will also give their elevator pictures in a second. <laughs> No, it's okay. So we're going to move on. Thank you so much. It's a wonderful experience at Thester Social Impact. What we try to do is, we don't try, we actually give each entrepreneur, and we enforce, good word, 30 seconds. And within these 30 seconds, each of the entrepreneurs are to capture what their organization is doing and what their organization aspires to do, which is a real challenge. And so we don't just do it once or twice or three times. We pretty much do it every second hour. So almost to the extent that they're doing their elevator pitches in their sleep. This time, it was the, if we have alumni here, which I think we do, we actually didn't make them do their elevator pitches in the last workshop. So you should be happy about that. Um, but right now, yeah, what we will do now is if I will call your name, and if you could give your elevator pitch to you know, the great group that we have here, and only after that will you be given your certificate. <laughs> so if, if I could invite Lisa to hand out their certificates, um, but the first person, oh, Sh Srini. <laughs> Hi, good evening. I'm Dr. Srinivasan, co-founder and chairman of Jeevan Stem Cell Bank, which is a part of a 15-year-old not-for-profit. Jeevan is working towards making available matching stem cells from donated umbilical cord blood to Indians living globally for treatment for blood cancers and thalassemia. Be part of the cure. Please join us. Thank you. Neju. So, the, so, so this is in no particular order. I am just going to read my elevator pitch. No. Yes. A 5,000 year history of crafts and a 44,000 crore annual market. Yet most of the 30 million artisans in this country live under poverty. We at Industry Foundation, part of a social hybrid enterprise, hopes to triple the incomes of artisans in the, over the next three years. And we will create community-led enterprises which are sustainably led and uh, run by the communities. We welcome your support. Thank you. Mukesh. Hi, I am Mukesh from Akhanjyoti Eye Hospitals, Bihar. Basically, we give eye care services to rural Bihar. Uh, we do around uh, 50,000 surgeries in a year, 
and we are the only hospital doing this on this magnitude actually so kindly help us to uh, prevent avoidable blindness in bihar himmat A uh, good evening to all. I am Himmat Patel from Sir Ratan Tata Trust. Through our work in Vidarbha, we are trying to work with farmer in creating sustainable agriculture models. Uh, so, uh, in order to reduce the distress, prevailing agrarian distress amongst the farmer, which is basically like in the last four, uh, five years, the four thousand suicides that have happened, is basically to create a positive environment to reduce that number. Okay, thank you. Renu Hi good evening I am Renuga Center for Women Development and Research Chennai we are working with the domestic workers who are poorest among the poor underprivileged and often faced sexual violence at workplace they are getting very low wages so CWD initiated job placement agency to regulate their work and increase their income thank you Kalyani I am Kalyani from the NAS Foundation. Women in India account for 1 million of the estimated 2.5 million people living with HIV. Women lack control and power in their relationships. We in NAS India address this issue by reaching out to about 2,000 young girls across three cities through a program called GOAL, which is a life skills education program increasing their confidence and building their self-esteem. What's unique about our work is that we reach out to these young girls through the dynamic medium of sports. Over the next two years, we aspire to reach out to 8,000 girls across India. Thank you. Chandralekha. Good evening, I'm Chandralekha, I'm from Sampark. Uh, my organization is working from last 20 years. We are working in five states of India. We have 20 projects. We are more into health and education. And uh, the great thing is about Dasara that within last 20 years, we do not know what is marketing. And being a purely programmatic person, I just learned the aim of marketing till death. Others, I'll do my homework. Raj. <laughs> 